Hey, I know it's been a while, so let's see what I'm up to now. Now that I'm gonna try to get back in the swing of things, of so doing a few odds and ends to the probe. I got a, uh, an oil cooler gasket. So I think that's what my problem is. So let's see if we can uh, get this replaced. Okay, if you can see in there in the engine bay, I disconnected the oil cooler fluid line, or coolant line, so that was okay. I'm capturing it in a um, bucket down below. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts that I have to get off to get this cover off, this heat shield off. And then I should be able to get the oil filter off and then get to the uh, gasket that's leaking or that's failed. Okay, I just got the oil filter off and now I have to take this one bolt off and um, it should, so I'll just put that in there, take that one bolt off and then the oil cooler should be able to come out. So I disconnected both coolant lines from the oil cooler and then used that big bolt. So I'll clean it up, but that's the gasket. See that, uh, I guess, orange color gasket? That's the replacement that I have to replace. That's what's been leaking for years and why, why the um, oil filter always had drips coming off the bottom of it. Cleaning it off. Uh, 30 years of muck. Well, got some bad news. The part that I bought is too thin and won't fit on my oil cooler. So I have to go back to the drawing board and order the right one. So for this video, let's just assume I got it on and everything worked fine and the leak stopped. Actually, good news. The part was the correct part, and after I installed it, the leak stopped. It just looked different, as you can see in this picture, but it just needed to be tightened down to be fitted and mushed properly. So the leak stopped. The car did start overheating the first time I started up, so I had to add coolant to the top filler cap. First time I ever had to do that, but right now everything's working good.